Hello people, in this video we want to look at mitriatics. What do mitriatics do? They dilate the pupil. So you can look at this. In this the pupil is very small, this black dot, right? It is very small. Here the pupil is big, the black part has become more. So this means to say that there is a dilation of the space which is between the iris and that is the pupil. The pupil is dilated. So that is by the action of mitriatic or could be any other cause, even light reflex, etc. Light, etc. Okay. If you want an example of a mitriatic agent for the eye, that would be phenyl ephrine. Okay, this is a uh, this will do only mitriasis. Here they are saying these are some common cycloplegics and mitriatic drugs. You can see here atropine, homatropine, cyclopentolate, tropicamide, phenyl ephrine. So phenyl ephrine comes here. This is used as a mitriatic, used only as a mitriatic. Okay. The other four, what you are seeing here, atropine, homatropine, cyclopentylate, tropicamide, these are all anti-muscarinic. They have both action, cycloplegic and uh, mitriatic action. Um, this tropicamide, very little cycloplegic action though. Okay, so if they ask you cycloplegics, the best will be atropine, homatropine, cyclopentylate. If they ask you mitriatics, you can kind of say tropicamide and phenyl ephrine. Okay, now why would you want to dilate the pupil? Why would you want to dilate the pupil? So let us say if you are, uh, this is the iris and here you have the pupil. Why would you want to dilate the pupil? So that you can look at the structures behind the iris um, more clearly like the lens, the vitreous, the choroid, the retina, the fundus, right? All that you can examine better. So that is why you would want a mitriatic. Let us say we want to focus only on uh, phenylephrine uh, and tropicamide. Phenylephrine 4 to 6 hours duration of action, even tropicamide 4 to 6 hours of action. Now, how does phenylephrine uh, help in mitriasis? Phenylephrine is a adrenergic drug, right? So, it is going to, so here adrenergic drug. So, what will it do? It will do contraction of dilator pupillae. So, dilator pupillae, so dilates, that's it. So, the pupil dilates, dilator pupillae contracts because of adrenergic action, Di alpha adrenergic they are seeing, so dilator pupil, so it dilated, so there is dilated pupil, so that is mitriasis, this is a active kind of mitriasis, right, this is an active mitriasis. Now, we will come to the next one, tropicamide, so main mitriatic that is phenylephrine you have understood, right, phenylephrine they have shown here, right, this is phenylephrine. So, phenylephrine they have shown here eye drops. So, we are done with understanding phenylephrine. Now, let us understand tropicamide. So, this is tropicamide. So, tropicamide and uh, all the other four that are there here that is atropine, homatropine, cyclopentylate all these four are same category anti-muscarinic. What do they do? So, here you can see anti-muscarinic action. They are going to relax the sphincter pupillae. So, some M3 receptor or something, right? A uh, they relax the sphincter pupillae. So, it sphincter pupillae, it can, if it has relaxed, that means it cannot go into meiosis, right? It cannot contract. So, it cannot go into meiosis. Hence, this will be a passive midriasis. Okay, this will be a passive midriasis. So, what is the uh, thing with these four? They are causing passive midriasis, but they also cause cycloplegia, which we have covered in a separate video. Cycloplegics, they are and uh, they will cause uh, uh, accommodation will not happen, right? So, that is cycloplegia that is covered in separate video. Here, what do we want to cover? Here, we want to cover only mitriatics. So, mainly you can focus on phenylephrine, tropicamide a little, okay? So, usually combination they give of phenylephrine and tropicamide. So, where will we use uh, these mitriatics? You want to dilate the pupil for transillumination, let's say transpupillary technique. So, you, you want to pass a beam of light obliquely through the dilated pupil. So, you will dilate using these mitriatics. Okay, examination of lens, like we told you, you want to examine the lens. Lens is a structure that is behind the pupil. So, you can examine it, right? For that, you can give a uh, mitriatic. And uh, for cataract surgery also, they are using this mitriatics. People who have some type of cataract, like axial cataract, they may benefit from the dilation, dilatation. They can benefit from dilatation. So, let us say if the pupil becomes big, then they can uh, see better. So, for such people, they can give a mitriatic to see better. If they have some small axial cataract, they may benefit from this dilatation. Okay. 
and even in cataract surgery they want mitriasis so they are maintaining the mitriasis with what with tropicamide phenylephrine and they have some other names here not sure how these work cyclooxygenase inhibitor like some ketorolac etc they are telling these also will work interesting so they want mitriasis even during a surgery cataract surgery so uh, examination of the lens for uh, patients with small axial cataract with this can help right so many uses are there even during surgery if they want mitriasis right fundus examination so we already told you if you want to observe how the retina is choroid is etc so fundus examination pupils should be dilated what will you use same thing phenylephrine tropic amide fundus fluorescein angiography same fundus you want to examine so mitriatics see mitriatic test is there something like phenylephrine test for uh, this angle closure glaucoma looks like they don't want to do this anymore they are not very they have written somewhere that they don't want they don't use this anymore retinoscopy actually they want to use uh, cycloplegic right to fasten the accommodation so that they can check hypermetropia but here they are saying uh, they might need only mitriatic in some very few people but remember mitriatic should be used with great care because it can uh, cause the danger of an attack of a narrow angle glaucoma this is very very important so very very important when you are using mitriatics in adults who have shallow anterior chamber they can get a narrow glaucoma narrow angle glaucoma attack so they will always keep a meiotic looks like uh, to counteract the action like pilocarpine mitriasis can be caused by a lot of things guys not just these um, drugs so it can be caused by so we already told you it can be caused because of uh, sympathomimetic drug like adrenaline phenylephrine parasympatho lytic drugs like atropine homotropine cyclopentylate tropicamide same thing they have mentioned here can be caused because of acute congestive glaucoma absolute glaucoma retinal detachment so many reasons are there okay some nerves they have blamed sympathetic stimulation right so so many uh, emotional excitement even light right light also will cause so anyways uh, here we are not concerned about the other causes of mitriasis mitriasis we are only concerned with uh, the drugs especially phenylephrine and tropicamide okay so hope you have understood uh, this uh, video on mitriatics that's all for now bye bye